Hello, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a booking website for barbers. For example, this was a website that I created earlier. So all your customers would need to do is simply tap on your link, then they would tap on book now. And from there, you list out your services. So let's say, for example, this service, and then they would tap on continue. From there, they would be able to select a date that they would like to come and get their hair cut or so on. They will also be able to select a time for their appointment. Then they would tap on continue. After tapping on continue, they would enter their phone number, name and email address and then tap on complete booking. After doing that, they will also be able to receive an auto reminder when it is near time for them to come in for their appointment. And with this platform, you'll be able to set up your booking website and everything for completely free. If this sounds good to you, be sure to stick around until the end and watch this tutorial step by step as it is beginner friendly and free and it is also easy to use for your customers. The platform that we'll be using to do this is heygoldie.com. Once on heygoldie.com, I want you to select customers. And by the way, if we were to select pricing right here, you can see with their pricing plan, you'll be able to accept 20 appointments per month. You'll also be able to add the A Goldie app to unlimited devices. And as I said earlier, you'll be able to accept online booking. You'll also be able to set up reminders. And if in the future you would like to upgrade and go on to auto reminders, which I would recommend you do, you can use their paid plan for $19.99 Per month and with their paid plan and the auto reminders you'll be able to for example send out auto reminders using whatsapp or facebook messenger which would be great now let's go back onto hey goldie you're going to hover over customers then from there you're going to select barbers after selecting barbers you'll be redirected to this dashboard and from here, all you'll need to do is either tap on get started in the bottom left hand corner or get started in the top right hand corner. And from there, you can sign up using your email address. So you'll be redirected to this page once you're finished signing up. Once on this page, I want you to go over to the top left hand corner and you're going to tap on this small arrow. After doing that, you're going to tap on services. Once you have tapped on services, you'll be redirected to this dashboard and you're going to see some sample services that have been added. And you can edit these sample services by simply tapping on the pencil beside each service. And from there, you could fill in the name of the service that you offer. And you can also fill in the price and then you can scroll down, you can fill in the duration of the service. And then from there, you could tap on save. And also, if there's a service that you offer that you don't see listed, all you'll need to do is tap on add new in the top right hand corner, then tap on add service. And from there, you'll be able to fill in the service name, description, costs and also duration, meaning how long it will take you to complete that service for a customer. Then you will tap on save. Once you're finished creating the services that your business offers, you're going to go over to the left hand menu option once more and you're going to select online booking. Once you have selected online booking, I want you to tap on activate online booking. After you have tapped on activate online booking, for example, let me do that real quick. You will be redirected to a page just like this. Now, this is your new website link, as you can see right here. So this is the link that you will be sharing with customers. By scrolling down, you can see your business name. So if you'd like to change your business name, you can do that. You can also add a company logo 
and a good platform to create a logo for completely free for your business is canva.com. So if you would like to create a logo, you can go onto Canva and you could create a logo for your barbering business. Or if it is a case that you'd like to add a profile pic, you could tap on add photo and upload a photo from your device. After you have done that, you're going to scroll down. You can add an address for your business, your phone number, and also by scrolling down, you can add your socials. So for example, you can add your Facebook link. You can also add your Instagram link right there. After doing that, you'll now be able to set up your business opening hours. So if your business is open six, seven days or five days a week, you can select the days of the week that your business is open. Then you can also select the time that your business is open and close. So let's say, for example, we open the shop at 10 a.m. and then we close the shop at 7, 8, 7 p.m. So we'll select that right there. Then you'll tap on OK. And you can do that for the five days of the week or so on. After you're finished doing that, you could simply scroll down. And if you would like to add a custom field that your customers will be required to fill out, you can do that right there by adding the field title, then adding the field description. And once everything is to your liking, all you'll need to do now is tap on save in the bottom left hand corner to save the changes. Once you have saved the changes, you are going to go over to the left hand menu option once more and we are going to tap on online booking. After you have tapped on online booking, this is how your website will look. So from here, you can simply tap on the link to open your website and you are going to be led to a new page. Once on this new page, as I said earlier, you'll see a background image. You can simply, their customers will simply tap on book now. And from there, they'll be able to book your services. And also, if we were to go back into the Hey Goldie online booking page, by scrolling down, you can see that you can also download a QR code for your new booking website that you'll be able to share quite easily. So I do recommend that you download the QR code as all your potential customers will have to do now is simply scan the QR code and then from there they will be able to start doing their booking so you can start receiving some customers and start making some money. And that's basically it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If there are any more questions that you would like me to answer concerning how to set up a booking website for your barbering business, please let me know in the comment section. And if you found this helpful, also hit the like button and thank you for watching.